Hello YouTubers and Doctor Who fans, this is my first ever Depot action figure review and it is of the Dalek 2150 AD um, Dalek, it's the red um, saucer commander. So first of all, I'll take you around the packaging, move my camera back a bit. First of all, you notice a Doctor Who logo at the top with the TARDIS in a bubble. That's because um, of Sylvester McCoy's opening title, and it says Dalek features pullback action, movable gun, sucker arm, and eyepiece. And as you can see, there's just that thing there. It, you don't get the inside packaging like you do on character options. And there's a W8 sign, no idea what that means. And there's a barcode and a Depot sign at the bottom. And on the back, we have Doctor Who from Daypol, same on, the, same on the front, other items available, collect them all. And there's a picture of Ace, and a brown-coated Sylvester McCoy, and a blue-shirted Mel. And an Imperial Dalek, a Tet Trap, and a Cyberman, and a rather strange-looking Davros. They haven't painted the hemispheres. And I'm not even sure if this is real, because the console on this chair has been painted, whereas it never was. It might just be a rare figure now. Uh, a TARDIS, um, figures available separately, and the 25th anniversary set, which is really cool. And it's got copy out information, um, contains small parts, unsuitable for children under 36 months. Okay, so that's the packaging. So I'll move on to the figure itself. First when I got it out of the packaging, I thought it was really, really, really cool because this is the first time I've actually got a Daple Dalek. It's not the first time I've handled one. My granddad uh, had two and he gave them away to my cousin, which I didn't really mind then because I thought they were rubbish. But now I do think they're really, really cool. So the articulation, head does move a 360, but uh, I'm not going to force mine because it's quite stiff. It stops there, but it can do a 360. I've watched other reviews, just mine. There are ball, the ball-jointed weapons, but I'm not going to move them because uh, when you move them, they get really, really loose. And you got friction drive um, movement. Whoops. Oh, it does work, but you can hear it there. It works a bit then. I just need to put this back up. Alright, so the detail. Some people think it's really inaccurate, which it is, but. I don't mind that at all. The first thing you notice is inaccurate is basically that because the the bases looked like this, and that's the size comparison against the character options dark. The much bigger the character options ones. This is just my custom. Yeah, and the eye stock isn't painted at all, which is I don't mind that, but one thing, the uh, on quite a few of them, the hole is on the edge instead of in the middle, which is a bit irritating because it looks like he's looking to the right hand side. And the ears are a bit too small, but uh, they use the same sculpt for every single dark, so you can't really blame them. Yeah, I said the thing was really sticky. It's just like putting your finger on really sticky jam. I don't know what's the matter with it. And the slats, it doesn't have mesh because it's basically based on an Imperial Dalek. I think, yes, they were the first Daleks um, Depot released, and they've not painted that silver, which isn't that bothering, really. And um, the in between the neck should be painted black, but it's not really that bad. So, I really do like this figure. Um, the dots are not as bumpy as you get on the character options. That's because Depot were made a few years ago. Well, not a few. Late 80s, maybe. Maybe this figure was made in the late 80s. And they've done the discs on the weapon, just like the William Hartnell guns, which is really cool. 
and the claw arm is not that much different from the sucker arm. They just put that on, but it's really cool as well. And as you notice, the base is inaccurate, like I said, but they just keep re releasing the same sculpt. You can't blame them. And if you move the ball joints too much, the sides will snap off, so that's why I'm not going to move them that much. So, thank you for watching this review, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Um, well, my next depot video will probably be an Imperial Dark. I'm not sure yet. So, bye.